Hey, what's up? So did everyone have a good week? I had a good week. Um, my brother had a baby, so I got to go watch my, my niece and nephew while, um, while that all transpired. And it's one of those early, early wake up calls and you know, you're super out of it, but rise to the occasion, of course. And, um, I'm sitting there with them at their house and I realized, oh my gosh, like it's almost, it's almost like actual morning now, like actual sun, sun coming up morning. And my poor diabetic cat is going to wonder like where her food is. So I piled them in the car and then we went over, made sure that we fed my cat. Um, as soon as they walked, I thought it was going to be like a short visit and then we'd go back to their house, but we get there, they walk in and I don't know if you know anything about my channel. I mean, if you've seen the clues, but I'm a huge fan of masters of the universe. Um, particularly Shira, and um, they walk in and they see my my giant castle gray skull playset. And yeah, it's true. I had all my toys out on the floor, um, not because I play with them all the time, but um, just because they were out. And um, and so yeah, they they were so excited, and it was really fun to see to see like a new generation um, have fun with like all these all these old school characters and um, and what kind of adventures they they made them have and incorporated some of my Lord of the Rings toys into into the action as well. So Gollum, Gollum got to have some fun with He-Man. Everybody had a great time, and um, that's that was pretty much the highlight of my week. Now, however, we shall read the news and um, and find out what War of the Visions has in store for this upcoming week, because it's got to be something exciting, right? I guess. I don't know. Wait, if we can read the news and not get lost in it. Okay. Okay, so we have an arena map change coming our way. Sweet. Um, have we had one of those? I don't even know. Um, Shutzel's not happy about it, but Lilith looks like she could totally hang with this castle exterior, um, battleground. Anyhow, um, your missile resistance will be up, so keep that in mind when you form your arena battle party, um, and, uh, maybe, maybe I will have to rethink my Freddy in that situation, should I get back into the arena, um, ever in my life, but that's something that you can look forward to on 824, just to get a change of scene, and then, oh, there's going to also be an arena map update in the friendly match, and that will also be castle exterior. So yeah, hey, that's cool. Um, let's see what else we got. All right, and the high difficulty secret book reward quest will be here to refine and awaken your equipment. Um, these things seem to be here all the time. They just rotate through the weapons. Let's see if it's something good. I love it when it's something good. Um, hmm. Swords, great swords and axes. Hmm. It doesn't do much for me, but maybe it does something for you. So get real excited if it does. That's uh, arriving beginning at time on 819 through ugly time 825. So you will be able to get all the books you need if you grind your life away. Um, if you don't, you'll just get some books that you need. So you decide um, how you want to prioritize your life. All right, next we've got the Ochu challenge. Earn crafting recipes by taking on this crazy Ochu. And then also we will see the Threat to the West Rundall quest and X quest reruns starting August 19th. Okay, so this is, this is our first rerun of, of a quest or EX quest. Hmm, interesting. And also good to know going into the future what to expect. Um, all right, the O2 challenge, the Threat to the West Run Doll event rerun, and then the EX event rerun will be here at the beginning of time, 819, through end of time, September 1st. <sighs> September 1st, how can it be? Um, all right, anyhow, O2 is real ugly, but if you clear the quest, you'll earn the jeweled ring accessory crafting recipe, which you might be excited about. And then this event, if you remember, was the cute one featuring Adelard and Salir being um, best, best siblings ever. And um, we meet Lucia. Don't miss this opportunity to challenge this quest once more to acquire job strengthening materials for units such as Lucia and Adelard. And guess what? I have both of them. So I will definitely be doing that. And then of course we have the EX event rerun. Now, I'm not sure, and maybe they'll say, maybe they won't. If we clear this the first time, are we still going to get some of these fabulous rewards? Because I would really like them, especially that rainbow fragment of thought. Um, but I don't know. Let's, let's read on. Let's stop conjecturing. Okay. All right. So this EX event rerun begins on August 19th as well. Now it's a chance to get more crafting materials and crafting recipes for Raz El Gothi. Now, I don't see any fine print about if you cleared it the first time. Doesn't mean you're going to be able to get them again. So let's wait to find out. Don't get too excited. Just get mildly excited. 
All right, so zero time, 819, through ugly time, 825. There's gonna be a huge, huge version upgrade celebration lock-in bonus. Story experience will be doubled up. That means if you go on those quests in the story, your characters get like double the experience and you go up levels. Um, I don't know about you in the 90s levels. I don't know that you're ever going to go up a level, but I know it feels like that, huh? Um, but at least it helps. And oh, JP reward quest. I always like that. I'm always like, so happy. It's so fun to go in there daily and see a smiling face. Chocobo Expedition experience and guild double up campaign. That's always great. Um, additional milestones will be added. So go execute all those missions. And then, yeah, um, this is what we can look forward to with that crazy, crazy girl in the front. Whoa. Um, well, log in during the event period to receive cumulative awards. You can't miss a login day or you're going to be sad. Looks like we can look forward to 2,500. I always want to say 25K and then I spread lies. 2,500 Vizior. I'm getting so good at saying it. Along with those other little prizes that you can um, salivate over or not. I like skip tickets. Skip tickets make me happy. Uh, oh, wow. 30? Is that 30? Yeah, nice. Okay. So yeah, they truly are invaluable. Um, and then of course, the story experience, we just mentioned that. Um, that's the face that I like to see right there for those vast amounts of JP that you'll earn. And then a little plug for their job crystal vision card. I think it's available for $7.99 in the shop. I don't know why I know that. Um, if you want to earn more JP. Um, anyhow, Chocobo Expedition Experience and Guild Double Up Campaign looks super rich. Um, I want to get in on that for sure. And uh, additional milestone missions. They're not going to give us details on them, but you can look forward to those as well and hope, hope, hope like I do that there's something rainbow in there. Just anything rainbow. Just give me some rainbow materials. Please tell me what I need to do. Send me on a mission, whatever you want. Um, just give me them. All right. Sorry for complaining. All right, new units released this week, and it looks like we're going to see our girl Rovice, who we met in the story event. I was kind of confused because I was expecting to see Kilfi in there, and um, nope, she was nowhere to be found. It was all about Rovice, but here she is. She's a paladin, and um, also on the banner is going to be a UR. Whoa, that's the crazy lady, Aldoa. Her main job is a soldier. She is pretty intense. Um, of course, if you pull them, you'll be able to get their hard quests added. You can find their shards in the Chocobo Expedition if you're super lucky. And also the fun thing, if you do pull her kind of early in the week, is you can take full advantage of that, that limited time hard quests. So yeah, shard opportunities there. Um, and then here she is, the Purgatorial Demoness. That's fitting. I like I like the description. Um, main job soldier, sub job viking. That makes more sense. Sub job assassin. Man, this girl's got a lot going on, and um, wouldn't want to mess with her. Uh, okay, her LB is going to be the Aldoan Bomber. That's weird. Isn't her name Aldoa? Okay, well, she's naming her move after herself. The Aldoan Bomber lowers Tarkus defense for three turns and then deals damage large um, in that little little map that you can see that shows the range. Hazard Break, which consumes her own hit points to deal large damages. Um, I personally don't like moves like that. I never have. They just make me nervous. Um, but maybe you do. So she's she's that kind of girl. And there's the range that you can expect. Revis, I liked learning about you. She's cast away in sacred armor. Her main job is paladin. Her sub job is thief. Sub job is samurai. Her move will be the saintly cross, which deals medium damage to targets with an area around self. And there's a little map there for your viewing pleasure. And of course, unlocked upon acquiring Aldoa are the limited time hard quests that we spoke of. Get the shards, earn up to 50 shards in conjunction with quest missions. You just have to acquire her. Um, here's a little guide that tells you how much Vizior to consume in order to get those um, rainbow yarn balls and shards for her. I really just want the rainbow yarn balls, let's be honest. Um, so I will do my best to consume Vizior in order to obtain them. And then, yeah, their shards will be in Chocobo Expeditions. Aldoas will be in the Ravine of Gales, because she must be wind. Ravis can be found in the Thunderous Plains, so she is a lightning element. So there you go. And then, um, yeah, and then you can get their hard quests in the regular old place where we do hard quests. Um, I wish, I wish we could do more than ten a day. I need to break some LBs apart. Okay. 
Scheduled maintenance will be on 818 um, at 1800 hours. So plug that into your calendar. They'll be doing server maintenance during the time period. The game will be inaccessible. Don't try to log in. Don't try to play. Just find something else to do is what they're saying. But they will be adding power saving mode on auto repeat function. Oh, that's good for people like me that like to put their phone on auto and set it up overnight and get a bunch of go. An added function to specify number of repeats and materials to be acquired in auto repeat function. That's really awesome. Dude, I'm so excited about all this auto stuff. Um, added option to customize auto formation. Added option to enable disable specific skills for each job. Man, we've been wanting that for a while, right? Unless you're somebody who like really loves the AI for some reason. I don't know. And then added skip function for arena and guild battle. Oh, so you can just send them into battle and then just not even look like you're that you're that cocky you're going to win or something. Or maybe you think you're going to lose and you don't want to see your people die. Okay, I get it. It goes both ways. And then, hey, fine print. There may be a time difference in the reflection of the update in each store depending on the device. So don't get hung up on that if that happens to you. Wi-Fi connection is recommended due to the large amount of data transferred upon first connecting to the server after an update. All right, so make sure you don't pass out in a hotel room that doesn't give you free Wi-Fi. All right, the contents, date, and time of this release are subject to change without notice. We always know that. Kill battles will not be hosted on days when maintenance is scheduled. So do something else with your 4 p.m. Could be fun. Then, of course, the start and end date and time of maintenance are subject to change. So, all right, so all good stuff to know. Cool. All right, so what do you guys think about that news? Um, I like Ravise. I gotta say, I think she's cute, but um, I don't need to have her so much. I'm certainly not in a position with my 673 Vizior to um, be pulling on this banner, and I really don't want Aldoa. I think she looks really scary um, on my home screen. Not that Lorenzo is going to get replaced by anybody anytime soon, but she's a little she's a little scary to me. Um, I'm going to stick with my with my um, friendly faces. So, tell me what you guys think if you're going for that crazy lady, um, or if you just can't wait for for all of the the new quality of life changes i'm super excited about all that auto stuff um so yeah cool well i'm gonna go meet a baby and um hope the baby likes me and you guys what what should you do um i don't know you should let me say goodbye to you right now before i say more th stupid things um so um goodbye and um and cheers and yes <laughs>